the forehead of your robot. I always loved the bad guys, when I first got the book at Walmart, and I still do to this very day. Heck, even my mom and I went to see the movie in a local cinema, that was a couple of miles away from my home. But there's a DVD copy of the original version of the movie, that no one heard about. In fact, I was the one, who only viewed it at the time. So let's get to the actual story. I was a worker at DreamWorks Animation, and I was animating some shots for DreamWorks's new film, The Bad Guys. While I was working however, my boss came in, and told me that he went into a dumpster, and found a DVD that I've never even seen before. From what I could make out from the DVD's title, it said that it was the original version of the Bad Guys movie, that was supposed to release in 2015, but it was quickly cancelled, although the entirety of the movie was finished. Apparently it was also rated R, which is kind of weird, due to the fact that DreamWorks doesn't make mature movies. My boss then gave the DVD to me, while pointing his hand to the room, where they would show their movies to their test audiences. I then went to the testing room, and I sat down on a chair, that was reserved by a person, who I don't know the name of, since it's basically just gibberish. My boss came in the testing room, and said that he will put the movie in the projector, since the movie is in great condition, which in my opinion, it wasn't. He then opened the DVD case, and proceeded to show me the DVD, that was just a blank lifeless disc, and on the back, lots of scratch marks were on it. After that, he walked off, ready to put the movie in the projector. I even still remember some of the clips that were in the movie. Alright, enough talk, let's get to the movie. The movie began with a black screen, while a timestamp was visible on the top left corner of the screen, along with a date that said, June 2nd, 2015, and even some text on the bottom of the screen, saying, Copyright, DreamWorks SKG, 2015, do not redistribute. It stayed like that for about 10 seconds, until the usual opening titles, you know, like those kinds of company name presence stuff, faded into the screen. They all lasted for about 5 seconds, until the movie's title faded in very slowly, and after about 30 seconds, it cut straight to a black screen. Quite the lazy opening title, if I do say so myself. 20 seconds later, it faded into a shot of a jail cell. It stayed like that for about 5 seconds, before the camera panned to Mr. Wolf, whose design is really different. He had his fur colored black, his eyes were white, and his shirt was colored orange. He then sighed, asking to himself, why he got arrested for stealing something I could not make out very well, I think it was a red jewel, but I may think to myself, that I am wrong. It then cut to Mr. Wolf's point of view, and the background somehow looked realistic, as if an artist drew a realistic picture of a building in Microsoft Paint. It stayed like that for about 50 seconds, until a police officer comes in, but his or her eyes were entirely black, and his or her mouth was cut off to make it look like he was smiling. Him or her then stopped at the middle of the floor, and started to slowly turn his or her head to the screen. Then he or she started to say something, that I couldn't make out since it was distorted, as it was slowly approaching towards the screen, or possibly Mr. Wolf. It stayed like this for about 10 seconds, until it switched to static. The static lasted for about 20 seconds, until it cut to some segments from the film, with Mr. Wolf stabbing a police officer in the throat with a butcher knife, and him blowing up a bank with a nuclear bomb. After one of those segments ended, things started to go down the rabbit hole very fast. I started to hear distorted screams, along with a door being banged by a hand, and even some kinds of voices that told something, that I couldn't understand very well. It all lasts for about a few seconds, as a distorted image of Mr. Wolf slowly faded in, for about what seemed like 10 hours, which was the impossibly longest hours I've seen in my entire life, until it suddenly switched to static again. Mere seconds later, it cut to black, as some text appeared on the screen saying, directed by, but I couldn't understand who the person's name was, since it was just again, gibberish. The entire movie then cut to black, and I was laying there in my seat in shock. My boss then came back, and asked if I liked it. I turned my head to my boss, and said at the top of my lungs. No. 
You literally just showed me a disturbing DVD, which was the original Bad Guys movie. My boss face then formed from a happy expression to a sad expression. He then asked why I yell at him, and I just responded with, I quit. I then got out of my seat and exited the animation studio. I've had nightmare for three nights, about Mr. Wolf coming in my bedroom, saying in a slow, deep, distorted and reverbed voice. <laughs> while slowly walking towards my bed with his butcher knife, like in the original film. He then started to stab my chest, causing myself to scream in agony, and Mr. Wolf seemed to react to it, by running out of my bedroom. I then woke up, and my mom came in at the right time and asked what's wrong. I later told her that I had a dream, where Mr. Wolf came to my house, and stabbed me in the chest with his butcher knife, but luckily, I wasn't actually killed. She then gasped in shock, and said that she had the same dream as I did, and that she saw the original movie back in 2016. Whoa. You always learn something new every day. I would say to my mom. So um, I think that's about it. Whatever you do, do not watch the original version of the bad guys, or you'll end up having nightmares like me.